we wake up here and we bicker about things and we argue about things and we don't get along about stuff. But never once in all that frustration do I think this could end up with me being in a country with foreign troops on my soil. Kiev, there are reports that the capital of Kiev will be surrounded by Russian armor, by tanks, by armor personnel carriers. Can you imagine if there were a scenario where Washington, D.C. would literally be encircled, would literally be under attack? To wake up in that sort of nation. We wake up every single morning and I wake up and I think, man, I'm frustrated because Republicans aren't doing this. And I'm frustrated because Democrats aren't doing this. And I'm frustrated because we can't get along. And I'm frustrated that the election is still being contested. And I'm frustrated that elections might not be fair. That's nothing compared to waking up and realizing that the country next to you could come over the border. Here, that's not going to happen because of our security, because of what we have in terms of national defense. But if you're little Ukraine and you used to be part of Russia, and now you're dealing with the reality that, my gosh, armored personnel carriers could roll into neighborhoods, fighter jets could be screaming over our cities, that is just hard to relate to. What they're facing in Kiev is something that I can't wrap my arms around. I can't wrap my head around being in a country where literally another country could come in and say, we're taking this. It's ours now. I just want to make sure, and I guess I'm talking for myself, that I don't take for granted that the country we live in with all of our warts and all of our faults and all of the bickering that goes on, we live in a country that is free. And above all else, make sure that we stay free and make sure that we stay sovereign and make sure that we hold on to those things that we hold dear. I just don't want to take it for granted what it means to truly be an American.